Hey baby, is the clear coat dry yet? Uh, do me a favor, just touch it with your fingertips and see if it feels tacky or sticky or anything. It should feel smooth and hard if it's dry. It's good? Awesome. Okay, um... Gosh, I'm so excited now. This is going to be great. Um, that means we can start the colored polish and really get your nails looking gorgeous. I'm so glad you agreed to do this with me, hun. I always thought that doing our nails together could be like a nice little at-home date. And I also think it could be pretty relaxing. Not to mention, it is Pride Month, which is why we're using colors from our Pride flags. See, that's how I did mine already. And it's just, in my opinion, a nice way to express ourselves, you know? Expand our horizons a little bit. Play around a little bit with femininity. Well, of course, we're not the first men to ever paint our fingernails, but, you know, sometimes I just like to be pretty. And I would like to make you pretty, too. My pretty boy. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. So, I'm glad that these came on time. I just ordered them a day or two ago, but we got some nice colors going on for your flag. I tried to get the most accurate colors I could possibly find. Um, do you think they look good? Awesome. Okay. I think I'm gonna start with this one. Uh, if you just want to give me your hand. <laughs> All right. Your hands are so soft, babe. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I promise. I'm no professional nail tech, but I've been doing my own nails at home for a couple of years now. So. It'll be a pretty good amateur job, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So before I go in with this color, you do just want a separate solid color for each nail, right? One to line up with each stripe of your flag? Okay, I think that'll look great. So then I'm just going to go in on your thumb first. I'm going to go in with a thin coat of this color here. Mm, that's kind of sheer. We might need to put on another layer of this one. But that is a very pretty color. And I think it suits you well. Yeah, we might as well get started on another color while we wait for that one to dry. How about this one? It's going to be the next stripe, so we'll put that on your index finger. Just let me get this a little less gloppy. We don't want to put on a layer too thick. We want the brush to be, you know, not oversaturated with polish. It'll never dry if you paint it on too thick. Oh, and don't worry about any mess around the nail, because I've got ways to clean up. Um, while this is still wet, I'm actually going to go in with, uh, Maybe this. This is just a matchstick, and I think I'll be able to scrape off the excess with this. Mm hmm. See? I knew what I was talking about. And if that doesn't go as planned, we also have cotton swabs and some nail polish remover. We came prepared. Okay. Okay. Now your index finger. Did 
These are such gorgeous colors. I love them so much, babe. <laughs> okay. Up next, we're going to try maybe this one. A nice white for the middle finger. <laughs> awesome. I've used this white a lot, actually. I've had this one for a long time. I have that one on my finger as well, see? I think it's beautiful. It's such a perfect pure white. It's almost like glue. <laughs> or, you know, like that stuff that you use to white out mistakes on paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, my love, I'm just going to do these other two, three colors we've got left. And I think after that, we can get a nice topper on them. Whether you want just a gloss or a matte or something shimmery like I've got on mine. See? <laughs> Oh, matte, yeah, that's like, well, you know, there's gloss and there's matte. So you can have um, sleek, shiny, or you can have, uh, you know, uh, not shiny. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll get there when we get there. We need to put on another layer or two of these two colors, and then they'll be more opaque. Okay? Yeah, we don't want to leave that the way that it is right now. Look, you can still see your fingernail underneath. We want bright colors, don't we? I thought so. <laughs> All right. I'll get started on that because it looks like this layer is already dry. Let me just give this another shake. Okay. And I'm just going to go back in on your thumb here. Just slow strokes of the brush along the fingernail. Okay. See, I told you it would be more bold this way. And it's okay if we have to do a few thin layers, because I'd rather have a few thin layers that dry quickly than one layer that takes forever. Um, we're going to wait a few minutes for these layers to dry. Yeah, I know they say they dry in 60 seconds, but you really are better off to wait another moment. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it doesn't really dry under the surface, so if you go in too soon with, you know, another layer or a top coat, you'll end up with a kind of sticky, half-dried, gunky mess, and it'll just smudge right off as soon as you use your hands for anything. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there. Uh, do you need a drink of water or anything? That makes me so happy, babe. I'm going to get up and get some water. I'll be right back. So, how are you feeling about what we've got going on so far? You know what I think we could do next time? I love a good black nail polish. And I think your nails will look beautiful with your pride flag colors as just a little stripe through a black nail. How about black nails with French tips in the colors of our pride flag? Mm -hmm. I'll get a little mini brush that they do the little lines and stuff with, and we will make proper nail art out of these colors. 
What do you think, hon? Plus, if it matters to you, a uh, black nail is just a little bit more masculine than the completely bright colors. We can try it sometime. I think it's both masculine and, you know, glamorous. Nice balance. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with femininity. I mean, we're two queer men painting our nails. <laughs> And maybe if we're super bold, we can try makeup. Wouldn't that be so fun? I want to make you pretty. <laughs> You're so cute, babe. I love you. All right. I would say that these are plenty dry now and they're looking gorgeous. What do you say we get a topper on them? Yeah, uh, those were the polishes that I was talking about before. They just sort of seal in the colored polish and make it more resistant to chipping away. Um, so here we've got just a plain gloss, and what this will do is not change the appearance at all, but it will dry pretty instantly, and it just seals in and protects the paint job. I've got another one here that is matte, as I explained before, and it just gets rid of some of the glossiness if you just want solid colors. I think that can be nice sometimes. Makes it a little less flashy, more subdued. And my favorites, these ones really pop. These are glitter toppers, and I've got two different kinds. This one's more fine and shimmery and it's called Unicorn. It's got green and gold glitter in it. And this one is my absolute favorite, and it's called Glaze. And I'm not sure why they call it Glaze. Glazed makes me think of a glazed donut, and it doesn't exactly remind me of a glazed donut look. <laughs> I'd say it's more crystalline. There's chunky, flaky bits of glitter in this one, and they are purple and gold, and they sort of change color depending on how the light hits them. That's what I've got on right now. Do you want to do that too, baby? Okay. <laughs> sure, we'll get started on that one. Ah, it's so tight. I couldn't get it open. There we go. Now this, you really do want to lay on thin. You don't want a thick layer of this at all. But we want to get some of those good sparkles in there. And we're just going to go in. Oh my gosh, it's not even dry and it looks so great. Okay, and then we can just go over the other nails as well. And then this one. Do you see that, babe? How the light hits them? Isn't it so pretty? I love it so much. I'm telling you, this is going to be stunning. All right. We're just going to let that dry now that it's on every nail. And it looks like that's the finishing touch. We've just got to do this all over again for your other hand. <laughs> it's all right. It won't take as long. Now that I know for sure what we're doing with all of these, I know how each polish works. We'll get this done in no time. <laughs> You're doing very good at sitting still for me. <laughs> Believe me, I get the worst itches all over my body as soon as I have wet polish on my fingernails. I get so jittery and restless. You're doing great. <laughs> and again, I'm so glad you agreed to doing this with me. I think it's been really fun. Anything is fun with you, babe. You really are the best. 
Thanks for doing this with me, honey. Can I... Can I have a kiss? <laughs> mm, I know the answer is almost always yes. But it never hurts to ask. <laughs> mm, babe. My baby. As a matter of fact, I just saw earlier today that there is a Pride event downtown later this week, if you want to come with me. Mm-hmm. I'd love to take you out with me, show off my boyfriend and his gorgeous nails. <laughs> mm -hmm. My baby boy. <laughs> We've got the other hand to paint now, but... We'll do that in just a moment. I want to leave one of your hands free of wet polish in case you need to grab a glass of water or something. <laughs> or so you can touch my face. <laughs> Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. Happy Pride Month, honey. <laughs>